Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to do advanced mathematical operations on remotely sensed images. The basic mathematical operations using Erdas Imagine on satellite images has already been taught to you in another video in the same tutorial. This will be very useful for the people who will be doing uh, research or working on remotely sensed data. Open the viewer and you have Landsat image band 5 displayed on the screen. This is your screen and as I have already taught to you every satellite image is a matrix of pixels. Every pixel will have some sort of value ranging between 0 to 255 as it is a 8 bit image. So we will be basically doing mathematical operations on that. Now that you have opened your viewer, as you can uh, go to the ARC toolbox in that you have an option called Spatial Analyst and you have another option called Math. Here you have all sorts of operation, mathematical operation. You have bitwise operations where you have so many options. You have logical operators and or XOR etc etc and you have trigonometric operations where you will be doing uh, sine, cos etc etc. So let me first find out a sign of this image so just do a double click on that and you have a dialog box opened just give input as the f and I'll accept the default location for the output file and click OK this will calculate the sign of the value contained in each pixel and give you in the form of an image there you go your process is complete and your resultant image will be added to the screen now there you go this is the sign value of each pixel of the image that you have uh, given so what will be the value you can see that uh, the value of the input is varying from 0 to 176 whereas your sign of the image is ranging between uh, 0 minus 0 0.9999 to 0 0.999 so that will be the variation in your resultant image similarly we'll try to do some other uh, operation we will do the less than function where you will be giving an input raster as the same one as you have given here output you can specify either an image where you know corresponding pixels will be compared and will be displayed only if the number one image pixel value is less than the number two image pixel value here I will not be doing that I know that the input values are ranging between 0 to 176 I'll give a value of 150 so it will display only those pixels which are having value of more than 150 just click OK and your now that your process is complete you can just see the pixels which are displayed in black are the only pixels which are having more than 150 so all other values here are having values less than 150 similarly you can do greater than function as well and if you give greater than 150 obviously the result will be exactly opposite to this only the image uh, pixels which are having more than 150 will be displayed and having less than 150 will be put in a separate class so these are the two operations that we have done we will do an operation called divide in eridas what i have taught you is division or addition of two separate layers of an image or two separate images here we can do the same function by giving another uh, layer here or we can divide every pixel by say 10 now I'll divide all the pixels of this image by 10 and let's see the result the result will be very unique so 
if you want to divide individual uh, pixels of those two particular images you can specify two separate images and uh, run now your process is complete we'll uh, remove the images which uh, we do not want right now and we'll compare the results here we'll just zoom into some specific area and see the difference between the original and the latest one I specifically divided it by 10 to give you an idea as to how will be the difference now you see that there is very less difference so you would obviously feel that there uh, what is the point in dividing uh, a specific image by 10 now let's see what happens if we divide everything by 100 let's divide everything by 100 and see the result why am I doing this this is basically because you know uh, when you divide everything by 100 there cannot be so many values as uh, 0 to 176 here you have 0 to 176 uh, as uh, the original image and in the result you have 0 to 25 so your entire 176 is put into 25 classes whereas now when you divide by 100 you do not have many classes where you will be having only 0 to very few values because you are dividing by 100 so 176 divided by 100 is 1.76 so this will be a totally different image why I am giving you this specific example is the mathematical operations on a satellite image is not a random thing that you will be doing it's not trial and error it's more of logical now you have uh, divided by 10 and you have seen the difference now you are dividing by 100 now you know that there will be a big difference in the image and you see it here this is the difference in the images now anyway if you want it to be in the form of the first image you can just select double click on that particular file or the layer and go to stretched option and click OK you have low as 0 and high as 2 as I have already told you because her values are 176 you can just click OK this is your image you can see the difference in the input and the output you can see a lot of uh, drainages etc are very clear in this image compared to the other one so this is what I mean when I say that this is more of logical so whoever is doing research can utilize these things and uh, uh, do their uh, research here you have and or not etc etc XOR so many op operations which you can do using two separate images where if both are true you will get that result as true if you are using and otherwise you will get resulting in zero similarly you have not equal you can specify a particular uh, uh, value and the values is equal to some value in a pixel that will not be displayed and it will be displayed only if it is not equal to that specific value here again you can specify two different images and the corresponding pixels will be compared and will be displayed only if they are not equal in the trigonometric functions you have cos the tan sine etc etc here you have absolute function you have divide exponential you have float log mod you can negate all the values using this function you can add you can do the power you can round up round down you can do the square or square root and you can multiply how many times you want to multiply that particular image you can do that with the combination of all these you can definitely design a methodology so that you will get a uh, image more logically uh, the way you want it to be interpreted so use all these functions so that your image will be useful for you in the way you want it to be so that your research or the image interpretation will be much better these are the advanced mathematical operations using arc map thanks for watching